discussing about the foundation principles before we begin to exercise. We spoke about nutrition, hydration, sleep-wake cycle, your thoughts, and now it's time to discuss about breathing. All of us know that oxygen is so very important for our human living on this planet. What happens is there are different energy systems, systems that help you to go for 10 seconds, systems that come with you for about 60 seconds of energy. But the thing that really keeps you going is your aerobic system or the amount of oxygen you're able to use to produce energy. Therefore, the breathing pattern, not only at the time of exercise, but right through the day, are you breathing properly? Are you giving enough oxygen for your entire system to work is very, very crucial. And here I think India has an enormous responsibility and solution for the rest of the world because we know that pranayama is so important. And if only we can inculcate those principles of yoga into our daily system, breathing will no longer be an issue of discussion. The next zone is the zone six which relates to the Agnya Chakra, it's the center of the forehead. And uh, this is the seat of intelligence. So if we have blocked energy there, we're not able to understand, or there is uh, depression or things like that, uh, these exercises can be done. They call it the alternate nostril breathing, but I think I should stick to the traditional Indian term of pranayama, where we close one nostril, Inhale through one, exhale through the other by blocking the other nostril. One way or another. Another exercise for the same is what they call rolling the eyeballs. This is naturally to bring in energy into this region. So we go like this. Inhale as the eye goes up. Exhale as it comes down as slowly as you can. Down on both sides. <laughs> 